we have made it into Pont Savan. Today is the 10th. The Mong New Year starts today. Not going there today. We've checked into our hotel. Hey, where you go? <laughs> we have arrived. Vienna guest house. It's only two doors up from the Janita. So uh, this is where we're staying, guys. When we come and check this hotel out, the lift was working. <laughs> Three stories aren't far, but when you're the only pack mule lugging this gear up, the lift was a big selling point. 180,000 kip, which is about eight US dollars. I'll work that out. Good size around for three days. I think I showed you when we come and looked at them. Eight dollars for Mong New Year, right in the centre of town. Can't beat it. Let's look around. What sort of views it has. All the action is happening over this this way, I think. Where's this gal? Got a catwalk. Oh, no. Okay, some buffalo down there. Lo 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 one. Who's rooming you in? <laughs> Get out. That's Jer Claire and Jeremy's room. Get out of here. We weren't meant to have this room, obviously. There's no power to the lifts out. No power. We're not off to a good start. But we've got one closer to the, to the balcony. Uh, this one just feels better. So I see that. It feels better, doesn't it? Yep. Ah, and Nina's making up her own little bed there. Yeah, yep, good, good. As you sleep like a starfish girl, you just take up all the room. What do we got out here? A little rock garden there. Make myself a coffee and go we'll get this car washed. We didn't do it. Claire and Jeremy's coming from the one for bar. They left at about eight this morning. They said they'll arrive here at two. It's two thirty. He just sent me a photo on the map. They're about two hours away. You can't get over the roads here. <laughs> Welcome to Laos, dude. <laughs> I did laugh to myself when he said he'll be about here about two. I know how long it takes. <laughs> Go for a cruise up Pont Savan's main drag and find a car wash, eh? Hey? Uh, that last one we were at, I only had the one fella working. Yes. 
you found the ice creams in a minute in a minute so we've had to come to another one we wait would have been waiting at the other one too long Ice cream. Mina to the ice cream, eh? <laughs> we see got plenty of workers here. I think the other ones are gone to the opening of the modern New Year event. No oh, car wash, ice creams, spare parts, waiting room. Down south. And to Pony's Yards. One just a couple of kilometers that way. Nene and Mina are going across the beauty place, do some girl stuff, wash their hair or something, something like that. I was going to sit down and watch a bit of TV, Netflix or something, but take you guys for a bit of a walk around this part of Ponsabar. I haven't been here, I've seen some smoke billowing down here. Barbecue Alley. Hello, Sabadi. <laughs> what is she cooking? Ah, pepper. <laughs> yeah, you can smell it. Mm. Hello, Sabadi. Oh, yeah, restaurants in the back of each one. Barbecue restaurants. All the same, all the same. That sun's bloody bright. What are they specialising in? Chicken legs, these ones. Chicken legs and pig's jaws. I hope they're pig's jaws. They weren't chicken jaws, that's for sure. Bloody hope not. Ah, uh, professional looking one down here. They're, they're disguising their 40 par 44 gallon drum there. Hello, Sabadi. And that's it. That's it. There's a Scooby Doo mobile there. So, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll get the first look at the Mong Year Year. Usually, in the first couple of days, there's not not many things going on some of the stall holders are still setting up but a lot of people get there and meet old friends they haven't seen for a while have a look around just talking shit stuff like that it's usually once the bullfights start to kick off hello kids you do get a lot of horse events buffalo events everybody is done up in their best mong outfit a lot of ball tossing going on you got to be careful where you don't want to get caught by your missus tossing balls with some pretty mong girl have we started on the trooper yet so yeah tomorrow will be just a, a walk around meet some um american american subscribers that have traveled over this for this event you'd be surprised how many Hmong Americans come over for this event? It is the largest Hmong New Year event in the world. A lot of people will say, what about China? That's where a lot of people come from. Do they celebrate it over there? They don't celebrate it like they do in the rest of the world. In the US, in Laos. So yes, in Ponsavan, it is the largest event in the world. Long New Year. What a busy little joint this car wash is. Car after car after car. They've got them all lined up in there. The car's pulling up to turn in. And then they can stuff that. They know how long they've got to wait. But not long now. I just thought I'd... Um, part two of this little walk and tour would kill some time you can only watch so many bloody youtube videos or on your phone can't you 
don't even know which shop the girls are in. Ah, uh, it must be this one over here. The main turn off to um, main drag of Ponce of Arms. Probably about a kilometre up this road, turn right, and then you've got the big long main drag. <laughs> going caving. Caving in the old ear hole. I presume that's what they were doing. Okay. These guys sell little spirit houses. Nice big pink home there. And stupas. Stupas are like a, a monument headstone a lot of people do keep in their own home or where the person has died or a special place the person was and usually keep the bones of the person in them the stupas and they're the decorative coffins there is a coffin that goes in underneath these and they're the decorative tops to them that they are actually cremated in you will see commonly see them on the back of a, a truck with a big procession of cars behind them going to where they are going to be um, cremated at a temple a special place alongside the road out in the wilderness somewhere I've actually seen them all pulled over and the whole lot will get burnt with the coffin inside it all disassembles in parts layers like a layered cake it's probably not a good comparison but they take the coffin out put it in the pyre and then put the the dressing back on and the marker up there might cross over there we go we've got this we've got this Ranger Raptor there. Never been into these markets. We won't go in, just have a bit of a squeeze. Girl there laughing at me. Why, I don't know, Sabadee. Yeah. <laughs> no silent but deadly scooters. Ah, and a Mong Seamstrips here. Nyo Jong Sabaydi Nam Lai Bit of a gym here Put Barbell Fred Flintstone gym Big barber shop there I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's not a very pretty way, uh, pretty place, Pontivan. It does remind me of just a big spread out country town that we'd see back home, except maybe for the types of architecture they've got here, but yeah, there's nothing that really draws me here. You now we come up here for the surrounding villages, some beautiful surrounding villages in Sengkwang, of course, some beautiful bloody Mong outfits there, hey. Looking forward to seeing them tomorrow on the girls. But yeah, it's, it is what I say call inland. Inland from the Mekong. If you ever hear me say inland, it's not inland from the ocean or sea because we don't have one, but inland from the Mekong. The closest thing we do have to the of water. No, it is just the the provincial capital, Senkwan, and big working capital. It is lots of there's big. It's built on a big plain. It's a new city because the old capital of Senkwan was wiped out during the uh, 
Indochina, Second Indochina War, or which we know as the Secret War. It was flattened, it was leveled, Mung Koon. So they built this here. So it has a lot more order to the streets and that than what your traditional little old villages do. Being high plains, it gets bloody cold here. The sun's about to drop and you'll see me with a, a woolen jumper on later. There's Nina. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, no, it's not built alongside a pretty river. No pretty mountains surrounding it. Jungles, nothing like that. It's just, just mainly flat, hilly land with the mountains off in the distance. To get here from anywhere in Laos, you've got to cross some serious mountains to get here. But it's plain, uh, high altitude plains, and that's why it does get cold. This dude here, he had the speed wobbles up there. Grabbed hold of his crate. Here, Lau making sure he wasn't losing it. I've seen you going for the dog then, mate. Anyway, I'll go over and fix these people up for the car. I don't think our old mate, Jeremy and Claire, have arrived yet. And it's getting near five o'clock. Mate, they're going to they're gonna be knackered after that bus trip. <laughs>